All right, I just made one, probably one of the worst movie-going decisions since I saw Barbarian uh, late on late at night on a stormy day, and that is I just saw A24's new Talk to Me uh, at the latest possible showtime, and I am filming this at like one in the morning because I haven't been able to sleep due to the fact that I close my eyes and I see things. Um. I'm kind of exaggerating, and I'm kind of not at the same time. So, what is Talk To Me? It is a film made by YouTube duo Raka Raka. Now, you're like, who's Raka Raka? And I'm like, it's the people behind the hit videos, uh, Halo vs. Call of Duty, Harry Potter vs. Star Wars. They were pretty much well-known for over-the-top action videos before, like, corridor digital they were like that corridor digital age like they did over the top action and they heavily edited their videos and it was a phenomenal like viewing experience and then all of a sudden i figure out they're dropping a movie and i decided to see it so um yeah there's a lot to talk about and i'm not going to talk about any of it but the story is pretty simple um they all they're all a bunch of teenagers who found this new party game where they shake this cut-off hand and they say, like, they light a candle, they say, talk to me, and then they see a ghost in front of them, then they're like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll let you in, and then they get possessed, and you shouldn't get possessed for longer than 90 seconds, or else the ghost doesn't want to leave. And, um, it's so incredibly it's super fucking weird that's the best way to put it it is fucking weird i don't typically i've stopped i've stopped swearing so much during these videos but it is fucking weird and um what i really like is how like at one point i'm like this movie isn't gonna have a satisfying ending and then it did. I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm not going to even spoil what just what happens throughout the one hour and 34 minute runtime. I'll just say, holy shit, they put a lot of goddamn stuff in that one hour and 34 minute runtime. Um, but in terms of the story, I'm giving it a solid hand grenade score. Um, easy. Cinematics. Jesus fucking Christ. This is like the best ambient scare. Like scary movie in my opinion like the ambience and the background the aesthetics the score how they film to make it scary i love these kinds of scary movies but they also don't help me sleep at night but it is a phenomenally cinematic experience it is fucking it's it in my opinion it's pretty terrifying in how they filmed it it's a very much a how you react to the ambience of the film rather than it like jumps at you and i personally love that style of filmmaking i think it's perfect and it fits really well here another hand grenade score all right let's talk about directing because raka raka is fucking insane uh i'm pretty sure directorial debut unless you count those youtube videos but it is a phenomenally directed and if i'm correct one of them also wrote it um phenomenal job just easy hand grenade score there the acting every uh cast member did their part they did a great job in their performance and it was really entertaining they did really well with their roles and that ending jesus christ um i'll give it a another hand grenade score um my expectations and experience i don't know what i was expecting definitely wasn't that shit jesus christ um, it was definitely worthwhile. I didn't see a single trailer, and if you haven't seen a trailer, then... Oh shit, if you haven't seen a trailer, I just told you what the movie is about, so... Eh, you're not gonna go in as blind as I am, but you're still going in pretty damn blind. Um, and that makes it better. That makes it better, trust me. Um, so what do I have to say? My favorite part about the experience is that one of my friends called in sick and missed the film, and my other one... We had a blast the whole time. Um, one thing that really tripped me and my friend up at the end, or actually in the middle, is that we heard like a six-year-old voice and we're like, 
is there a six-year-old in the movie or is there a six-year-old in the theater with us? Please remember, we were going to a late-night showing of this shit. And then at the end of the movie, we just look over to our right and there they are. There's the six-year-old right there. It was fucking hilarious, actually. Like, there is so much. Honestly, this is one of the few movies where I absolutely have to just plug the letterbox. If you go check my letterbox review, I tell you the events of everything that happened in that film um, and the experience aspect, and it was fucking hilarious, and I had a blast writing that down. Um, hand grenade for experience, because honestly, I don't think I'll ever get an experience that explosive, dynamic, and fun again for any movie. Ever. Um, overall, certified hand grenade movie, easily go check it out, uh, right now if you can. Um, but other than that, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below if you've checked, seen it, and if I'm over-exaggerating. Um, other than that, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll leave you guys to it.